I'm going to take this LED bulb apart. It uh, suddenly went very dim and so it's no longer useful. I've got dozens of these things around the house so it's surprising that eventually one of them finally gave up the ghost and stopped working. So I thought I'd take it apart and see what's inside. Other videos show the same thing so it's nothing really special. Uh, this is an Osram brand. It's uh, 8.5 watts and it has marked on it I believe 2700 degrees K, degrees Kelvin. That's not the temperature of the bulb itself it's actually the color temperature it's the color balance you would get from say a tungsten filament heated up to 2000 degrees k but leds run quite cool <coughs> excuse me so i just uh, cut the top off in actual fact i found after i cut it that you can actually uh, just pull it out so that it's just a plastic cap on the top which can come off and you discover inside that it's got a pentagon shape uh, with four LEDs on each surface of the pentagon and one on the top. So you've got six surfaces with four LEDs. That makes a total of um, 24 LEDs and they usually bunch together such that uh, they have about 10 volts on each panel and a drop of, one vo of two volts or a little bit less than two volts on each LED is typical. Um, this is mounted in an aluminum um, mounting or tube and I cut all the way around that with a hacksaw to see what was inside and surprised I didn't find very much. There's just this um, heat resistant plastic sleeve that prevents the heat from the LEDs from um, damaging the wiring. And there's just two wires coming up there from a circuit underneath. So then I had to take the base apart to find the circuit itself. So this turns out this piece is actually a bayonet fitting. Uh, you can just turn it a part of a turn and pull out turn it, um, if you're looking at the top it would be anti-clockwise, and inside you just find a fairly classic looking circuit board with a little transformer, and uh, this has a circuit which presumably has a rectifier to convert to direct current, and uh, they usually have various filtering systems on them to uh, filter out some of the radio frequency signals that might be emitted, and uh, produces a direct current to drive the LEDs, and that's about it.